My name is Dennis Conrad. I'm a software development engineer at Microsoft. Today I'm going to be taking you through how you can import and export models in the new product configuration module. The import and export of a model is in itself straightforward, but we're going to be taking it one step further and examining the XML output of an exported model. First we'll export a model, then we'll examine the exported XML. Finally, we'll import a model back into AX. Using the Contoso demo data, we're gonna now export the home theater system model. You find the export functionality under exchange in the top of the list page. So I'm gonna go ahead and export the model to my desktop. Now the model is exported. Now let's look at the exported XML file using Internet Explorer. This is what the exported XML file looks like. If I start to collapse the outer elements of the XML file, we can see the structure of the exported file. So we have an export element followed by an attribute types element. The attribute types contain data related to the domains of the different attributes in the home theater system model. So for instance, we have an attribute type here for the color text domain, where you can see the values red, blue, green, dark blue, etc. If I collapse this, I have a section for table constraint definitions. This contains the definitions of any table constraints that are included in the model. The next element is the component tree structure. So here we'll find the components of the model starting by the leaf nodes. So we have the first leaf node here which is the receiver. If I collapse that I'll get uh, the tree starting from the bottom and going up until the top of the tree which is the home theater system. Now the whole tree structure is is collapsed. If we look at what is included in the, the product configuration model, it's information about translation of the model itself and information about the user interface, how the user interface is composed. So we have ordering of the different attribute groups inside the audio system, for example. So examining the exported XML shows us that there are four main elements of the exported XML. The first one, the attribute types, which contains information about the domains of the different attributes in the model we exported. Then we have table constraint definitions, the component structure, and finally model data such as the user interface. When we import a model, we need to ensure that any reference data, including products on bomb lines, operation resources, on route operations, are present both on the source system and on the target system. As this data is not maintained inside the product configuration model, it will not be included in an export of a product configuration model and hence needs to be created by other means. I've now opened the exported XML file again in Notepad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of the product model I've exported such that I don't override the existing one. So going back into AX, I will now import the model I just exported, but remember it now has a different name. When I open the import dialog, I can select which companies I want to import my model into. But as I export it from the CEU company, I have only data are related to operation, resources, and products in this company. In order to make a successful import, I need to import it into this company again, where this reference data exists. Once I've completed the import, once I refresh the list page, you can see a new model called Demo 2001. This is the one I just imported. If we open this up, we can see that it is actually identical to the original 2001 model. It has the same structure, I can run it, and it will have the same layout. You will also notice that the original 20,000 model is still there. So I did not break this model by importing the other one. This concludes the demo of exporting and importing a model in the new product configuration module. I hope you found this information useful. Goodbye.